we are asked to find out the number of distinct terms in the expansion of a plus b plus c to the power 20. Any term which is in the expansion of a plus b plus c to the power 20 will be of the form some constant k into a to the power x into b to the power y into c to the power z. This constant k can be some uh, product of a combination. It will be the product of 20cx into 20cy into 20cz. But the important constraint that we have to look at is that x plus y plus z will equal 20. If you are looking at any term in this expansion and if you are adding the powers of a, b and c, you are going to get 20, which is the power that it is raised to. If you are, for example, looking at a plus b whole cube, this is a cube plus 3a square b plus 3ab square plus b cube. In any term, if you are adding the powers of a and b, you are going to get 3, which is the power that a plus b is raised to. So here we have x plus y plus z is equal to 20. Now how many solutions does x plus y plus z equal to 20 have? There is a formula which will help us in determining the number of non-negative integral solutions. Suppose you have a1 plus a2 plus a3 plus dot 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 plus ar is equal to n. The number of non-negative integral solutions that is if you want a1, a2 all of them to be greater than or equal to 0 and all of them should be integers. The number of ways in which that can be done is n plus r minus 1 c r minus 1. In this particular case, the number of variables is 3. So, the value of r is equal to 3 and they are summing up to 20. So, the value of n is equal to 20. So, the number of solutions for this given equation will be 20 plus 3 minus 1 c 3 minus 1. This is 22 c 2. What is the value of 22 c 2? It is 22 into 21 by 2. This is 11. So, it will be 21 into 11 which is 231 which is option A. If you prefer quick concept refreshers, just go to Google and search Crack Your Cat Revision videos.